Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, um, where I'm going to be on crosswords today, and I think Mark's going to do a Sudoku video as well. Um, now, this is a puzzle I've been meaning to do for some time. We had it um, suggested to us uh, by email. Um, so I think Anthony Hope, thank you very much for recommending this. Um, I've not looked at it yet, um, but apparently this, is, this has become quite a famous crossword um, in cryptic crosswords circles. Um, so I'm slightly surprised I haven't heard anything about it. Um, set by Brendan, and it's in the Guardian. It's the Guardian prize puzzle from uh, just over a month ago. Uh, so let's have a look at it and see how see how we go. So chum and I, including odd touch, an Asian shrub. Okay, so this is a test of your vocabulary as much as anything. Um, and chum and I. Well, can we think of any short synonyms for the word chum? I can think of one, which is pal. Um, so pal and I, that would give us four letters and we could put an anagram of the word touch into pal and I and can we think of an Asian shrub that we can make that way and I think there is a shrub called patchouli that rings the vague bell, it's not, it's not a very easy word but that's, that's what I think that probably is so let's have a look at this one down, composition almost put out without piano. Well, one of the interesting things about the word without in a crossword clue is it can actually mean two different things. Uh, if you have uh, a word that's without piano um, in the sense of removing a P, which can mean abbreviation for piano, obviously that, that's a removal indication. But the other thing it could mean is that you put a, a word without, i.e. on the outside of an abbreviation for piano. Now obviously those two meanings are very very different but here we have a P in the answer so I'm tempted to think that this is a four letter word which means composition and I need to think of a word which means put out and take most of that word because it's almost put out. So how about the word oust? If I take almost all of the word oust and I put it without a P for piano, I get opus, which is a musical composition. So I like that as the answer. Fly without loud instruction up to this point. So, well, it must be so far looking at the enumeration, two, three. So that's saw, I can see, without loud. OK, yeah, so loud. Um, fortissimo in uh, musical scores would be abbreviated to F. Um, or is it forte in fact, oh, I'm no good at music um, but anyway F is certainly means hard, allowed in a musical sense so so far is the answer um, and then this one is this going to be stifle maybe I always if you know if you see an unusual you know collection of letters in an answer always get your mind working on it before you look at the clue it can make it quicker Ah, uh, no, it's not stifle. <laughs> Man on a Scottish island. Well, the Scottish island of Staffa is what we need here. If you man something, you staff it. Uh, and staff on A, that's this A here, gives us the answer. Kind of film about fungal growth in kind of pastry. Short crust, maybe? Yes, OK, so a kind of film, uh, you get a short, as in a film short. About can be abbreviated to C, as in circa. And I think a type of fungal growth is rust. I think I've heard of rust as a sort of fungal growth. And that gives a short crust, which is obviously a type of pastry. So we've made good progress um, in the top left. All but nullify a monarch that's gigantic and awfully distant. Well, awfully is very often an anagram indicator, but the odd thing about awfully in this clue is that the only thing that would seem to be amenable to anagramming is the word and. All but nullify. Not, no, I don't get that one. Pipe down. Unusually prim goal for work lacking in a way such as this. That looks like an anagram of prim goal.
No, I'm not getting that. Uh, right, 13 across. Transport animal in unusual cart. Uh, okay, well, un again, all cryptic clues, first task is to identify which is the definition side of the clue. It'll either be the first uh, bit of the clue or the last bit of the clue. And the best way of um, disambiguating which is which is to look for uh, sort of instructional words in the clue. And here we have animal in unusual cart. So here it's the way to read that cryptically is we need to put a word for an animal in an anagram of, a, of the word cart. Um, so I'm thinking something like tram car or uh, ram. Yes, that works in fact, doesn't it? So ram is our animal, and that's going an anagram of car to give tram car, which is a form of transport. Mammal, I caught in nasty trap. Well, this is a nice easy clue. So again, we can do exactly the same thing we did with tram car. Uh, in fact, it's a very similar construction. I caught in nasty trap. So nasty trap is saying anagram the word trap, and I is being caught by this anagram. So we need to put I in the middle of an anagram of trap to create a mammal, and that's a tape here. So what's this going to be? Maybe pilau rice? Yes, dish, papa, and I. Well, again, know your international radio words. Things like Romeo, Papa, Alpha, um, Juliet, um, they always, uh, if you see one of them, and Papa is obviously P, then that's giving you a P in the answer. So Papa and I, I, mostly a claim, a word for a claim is to Lord, L-A-U-D, most of that word, L-A-U. Put that together, we get Pilau, which is of course a type of rice dish. Right, in US City, cash is tight initially for the classical scholar. Well, this is probably Latinist, which I know is a word for somebody who studies Latin. So let's put it in and see if we can justify why. US City, see US City in a crossword clue, it's almost always LA or NY for New York. Um, sometimes DC, I guess, as well. So uh, US City, cash, tin can be a word for cash. Yes, so tin is a word for cash, is is just plain text, it's this is here, is. Tight initially is the initial letter of the word tight, and that's this T. String all that together we get Latinist, which is the answer. So I'm thinking ratatat for this answer with, without even looking at the clue. Let's see. Ah, oh, it's not, it's probably rotator. Um, it turns six, missing start in posh car. Oh, posh car could be two things, I always think. It could be limo, or it could be Rolls Royce. And here we have an R at the start. So that probably means we need to put RR around six, missing a start. So if this could be the word potato, missing a start. So let's look at six down. Irish growth, yeah, now, finishing disastrous slump, you said, yes. If we look at the last letters, the finishing letters of these words, disastrous, slump, you, and said, we can spell the word spud, which is an Irish growth. Ireland, of course, being famous for growing potatoes and its potato famine. So that's how this clue is working. It's saying, take the answer to clue number six, and take the starting letter off it. So a spud is obviously a potato, remove the P, stick it all in the middle of a Rolls Royce, and we get something that turns. The definition here is just it turns. Now, what one now? Uh, let's try and use the P. Aim in occupying corporation. Uh, aim in occupying corporation. Uh, I should be able to solve that. Can't. Sort of wit with point primarily. That's good for cut and thrust. Again, all I'm thinking here with point primarily, that strikes me as being an indication of the primary letter of the word point, which is a P. No, I don't know. 
Uh, that's annoying actually. Let's see if we can get 24 down just because it would be so useful. Oh, I'm going to have to come down a bit here. So, what's glass holding liquid contributing to joviality? Oh, well, if we look inside the word joviality, the contributing letters, we can see spelt out there the word vial, B I A L, and that is a glass that holds liquid. So, it is quite an odd clue that though, isn't it? Why is there all this extra paraphernalia about what's glass holding liquid? Why wouldn't you just describe that as being, I don't know, a type of container? That's strange. Um, sorry, let's go back up here then. So 24, addition of glossy stuff, not right fading away. Varnish, not vanishing. Okay, so this is varnishing, which is the addition of glossy stuff without its R. Not right is saying remove the R. Again, it's slightly weirdly worded, isn't it? There's something odd going on. I suspect this is why we've been asked to look at this puzzle. These clues, something going on with them. Uh, analysis in form of opinion. Ah, okay, this is the word assay, which is, um, you know, if you, you might assay a metal in order to determine how uh, how pure it is. So this is analysis is the word assay, so this is the definition. In form of is the word as, and then the opinion is your say. So as and say, put those together and we get assay, which is the answer. So this is probably soya, maybe. 25 down, let's look. Um, battens in audition, ah no, sticks then, that you will finally pass across. So here we have a classic piece of crossword ease, as we call it, something that comes up again and again in various guises, in audition. So it's that suggesting obviously some sort of theatrical audition, but we need to read this in a different way. In audition is referring to uh, how you might hear something, looking at the root of the word, audio, audition. Um, so in audition is suggesting a homophone, so we need to think of an answer, or think of a word for sticks, or batons, which is sticks, S-T-I-C-K-S, and we need to spell it differently. Now if you spell sticks differently, you could spell it like that, the river sticks, which of course you cross over uh, uh, in uh, I think it's Greek mythology when you uh, when you die so you will finally pass across the river Styx um, and play pay Charon the, the ferryman um, so again uh, that one felt like a more normal clue let's try and use this G 22 down taunts with it and starts to scoff taunts with with it if you see that in a crossword clue if somebody's with it they're they're fashionable they might be in or hip so those two synonyms there in and hip for being with it are very useful so here with a g we're probably not looking at hip we're probably looking at in so i'm suspecting that we're looking at this sort of construction and it's going to mean start to scoff. Ah, if you dig in, you start to eat. And a dig would be a taunt, is it? And a dig would be a word for, for a jibe. Again, there's something odd about that clue. Okay, last of gold. That's probably the letter D, the last letter of the word gold. And we've got this D here, which charms possibly, an anagram of charms perhaps, and coins of antiquity, drachms, from, again from Greece. Um, so drachms there are coins of antiquity, anagram of charms after a D. Let's try 19 across. Um, add last word to thoughtful man's aphorism. Aphorism, add last word. The last word could be amen, or it could be P.S. in a sort of letter sense. That would be the last words you would write would be what you wrote after the P.S. Add last word in 
the thoughtful man's aphorism. And last word. Again, that's an awful lot of letters for such a short clue. So, sorry, such a short answer. 19 down. Runs into coach going north into changing part of London. Into changing path. Ah, blow. I can't solve that. Oh, this is our anagram again. Work lacking in such a way such as this. Ah, oh, okay. Very clever. All right. I now have understood a lot about this crossword. The answer to this clue it is an anagram of prim gold. And the answer is lipogram. And what you may ask is a lipogram. Well, a lipogram is a work that um, doesn't include one particular letter. Now, if we suddenly, this is very, very clever. Let's look at this puzzle. Look at the clues, look at all the answers. There is a letter missing from all of them and it does not contain the letter E. That's quite incredible. Um, I can't connect oh. to your Wi-Fi network. So you Alexa, can find Alexa set wants to uh, have a go at video Alexa. on YouTube. Um, so this is, this is amazing. So this puzzle does not include the letter E anywhere. Now I've seen one example of this before, which was in the listener crossword, where arguably it's, it's probably easier to achieve this because you can uh, you can use some really, really odd vocabulary. But to do it in a standard puzzle, where you're sort of, you can only really use normal vocabulary, is really very unusual and impressive. So now, now when we look at these clues, we're going to understand why some of the definitions have been written the way they have been. It's because the compiler has not been able to use an E in writing any of them. This is very clever. So pasta, first for Rico, that's going to be an R, as against, tucking into garlicky mix, garlicky mix. So again, it's had to use, in order to uh, clue aioli, which I think is what's needed here for ravioli, it's had to use garlicky mix as the definition. So we've got R, which is the first letter of Rico, um, as against, um, so against, if you're V somebody, if you're Liverpool V Man United, you might write a V to indicate the verses there. And that's all being put into A-I-O-L-I, -I, which is the name of a garlicky mix. So very clever. Abrupt attack is capturing court, you said. Is capturing. Okay, so an abrupt attack. We need to think of a word that means abrupt attack here. And the way the wordplay works is is capturing caught you said well is is this i and this s is the, the, the letters of the word is are capturing they are surrounding an abbreviation for court which is ct and you said is another of these homophone indicators so we saw in audition earlier um, but if we if we say the word you it's exactly the same as if we would write the letter U. Um, so ictus is the answer here. Arrival soap broadcast in port. That's going to be an anagram of arrival soap. Valparaiso is that? I think it is. Uh, I think that looks right to me. Oh, I don't know what I pressed there. 20 across. Pianists shift away from upright, it said. <laughs> okay, well, Franz Liszt was a famous composer, but also a famous pianist. So, uh, shift away from the upright is a lovely way of indicating something listing, uh, as in it's, um, you know, it's falling to one side, like the Tower of Pisa might be s described as listing. Um, now again, we've got it said here to indicate the homophone. So this list, L-I-S-T, sounds like L-I-S-Z-T, 
the, the composer. Um, so now let's have a look at this. King is jolly mad. Such guys spoil things. King is jolly mad. Killjoys. Lovely clue. That's very, very nicely worded. So what you've got here is K for King, um, which is what you would see in chess abbreviation. That's why K can be an abbreviation for King. Is jolly mad is an anagram of the words isn't jolly. If we anagram them correctly, we get ill joys. Add that to the K, that makes kill joys. And such guys spoil things. Kill joys obviously spoil things. Just think about having to do this without using an E. It really is mind boggling. Um, aim in occupying corporation. Uh, no. Put off visit. Ah, if you if you uh, give somebody a stay of ex execution, you would defer or put off their execution. So stay means put off, and if you obviously if you visit somewhere, you might stay there. So I think that that's going to be the answer there. So what is this then? Point. Okay, if you aim something, you point it, and here you can see the the word in is occupying pot, and pot is a word for corporation in the sense of your tummy. It might be described as having a pot belly, for example. Uh, so corporation, if you see that in a crossword clue, I think there are another couple of short synonyms you should consider. One is tum, obviously T-U-M. Uh, the other is it could not be referring to your belly, it could be referring to a company. So co, uh, you might see as well. So what have we got here now? 12, sort of wit with point primarily that's good for cut and thrust. Sword play. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's not a P for point primarily. What's happening here is the sort of wit is word play. Word play, one of my favourite films. Do look it up if you are into crossword solving, competitive crossword solving. It is the most wonderful film about the American crossword solving competition. It was released probably uh, probably 15 years ago now, but it's an absolute joy. Um, so sword play, we've got word play here, and then a point primarily is a cardinal point on the compass, so south, can be abbreviated to S, put that at the front, and we get sword play. All but nullifying a monarch that's gigantic and awfully distant. All but nullify a monarch. Good lord. Okay, this is quasar, I think. If you nullify something, you quash it. So all but nullify is most of the word quash, followed by a, that's just this a here, and a monarch. Uh, R is often used as an abbreviation for a monarch, as in rex for king. Um, Maybe even Regina as well. I'm not sure which is the, uh, but definitely R. If you see R, it's always indicating a king or a queen. So um, Quasar is the answer. So add last word in thoughtful man's aphorism. Add last word. Ah, no, I'm still not seeing that. Right, I'm going to have to scroll down slightly now. Um, so, charming activity of husband putting diamonds in rings. Okay, well, this is hoodoo, I think. A charming activity is hoodoo. And you can see here we've got H for husband, and then we're going to put D for diamonds, as in the suit of diamonds. That's why D can be an abbreviation for diamonds. And we're going to put D in a whole lot of rings or letter O's, so four of them, in fact, to create hoodoo. So, don't confront total lack of diamonds, say. Don't confront total lack of diamonds, say. Oh, goodness me, why can't I solve that? Um, in hurry, fling small amounts. Uh, in hurry, fling a small amount. Ah, this isn't going well all of a sudden. Right, things lacking in old vocations. Things lacking are omissions. Old can be abbreviated to 
O and vocations are missions. So put those two together and we get omissions. And let's come back to this. In hurry fling small amount. In hurry. Rush. No, I don't like rush. That would give us an R here. Um, don't confront. Total lack of diamonds. Say it. Lack, lack of diamonds would be a void. Oh, I spelt Valparaiso wrong. That's why. Ah, that's better. <laughs> Valparaiso. Yes. Okay, so now this can be a void. If I avoid something, I don't confront it. And a lack of diamonds is a void. If you have a void in a suit in bridge, you have no diamonds, for example. So now this could be dash, I guess. In hurry, fling, small. Yes, it's a triple definition, I think. Um, so if you're in a hurry, you, you dash somewhere. A small amount is a dash. Of, you might add a dash of sauce to a mixture or something like that. And fling fling for dash? Well, I suspect it's probably justifiable. So now we're left with these two. 19 down first. Uh, runs into coach. Oh, Surbiton. That could be having a reversal of bus. I can see how that might work. So let's put Surbiton in and see if we can justify why. So runs into coach going north. R is runs, this R here, into coach going north. Well, if in a down clue, something going north could be reversed um, as it's going upwards rather than downwards uh, towards the North Pole, if you like. So that gives us S-U-R-B. Into changing is just an anagram of the word into, believe it or not. And part of London is Surbiton. Very clever clue. Again, to do this without using an E is just mind-boggling. Um, add O. Okay, so add could be just sun then. The last word in thoughtful man's aphorism. Thoughtful man. Add last word in thoughtful man's aphorism. Last word. Ah. Yes. What is it? Cognito ergo sum? I think therefore I am. So the last word in that aphorism, uh, is that Descartes, um, is, um, is sum, which, is, which obviously means add. So quite a difficult last clue. I'll forgive myself for taking a bit too long over that. Um, but yeah, what a wonderful puzzle. Thank you so much um, for the recommendation. This really is quite a treat. Um, to come up with a themed cryptic um, is hard enough, but to do it in this way as a lipogram is absolutely extraordinary. So I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle through it. Um, if you enjoy the channel, please subscribe. Please um, hit the tick button underneath the video to say that you, you like it. We believe the YouTube algorithm uh, takes notice of that. And we'll be back soon with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.